I started a brand new Instagram account and grew it to 200,000 followers in only 30 days. And within those 30 days, that Instagram account made me $1,000. And my second month, it made me $4,400. February is my third month and I'm already projected to make $10,000 this month from that account. And now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did to grow so fast in that account and exactly what I'm doing to make money from that account as well. But in exchange for all this free game that I'm about to give you, I'm asking for your most precious commodity, which is your time. I just simply want you to watch this video to the very end and if you do learn something new from this, then I would appreciate if you subscribe because I'm on a road to 20,000 subscribers. All right, now without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, I just want to quickly say it's 2023, so you guys should be posting your content on every single platform. Short form content has made it so easy to go on every single social media platform. Like every platform is trying to compete with TikTok, so they're pumping so much algorithmic juice onto all these short form content. So that means easy growth and easy money for you. Now, look no further because you found the right channel because I'm going to make videos about how to grow on every single social media platform. Now, I'm a guy who likes to show receipts, so here's some proof because I don't want you guys think that I'm just some random guy who just talking because me personally whenever I watch a video on how to grow on a specific platform I like to see whether or not the person who's teaching us has the results that they're talking about so for all my videos I'll show receipts screenshots screen recording whatever I'll show it all now in the description I'll leave a link to exactly how I grew my 400,000 followers on TikTok so go check that out if you're interested right after this video all right so the first ingredient to growing your Instagram following is to simply start posting Instagram reels now I'm sure you've heard people tell you that but we're gonna definitely get into more about the hashtags and trending sounds and all that later on but yes guys it does really start off that simple posting Instagram reels now if you're not already doing this you're definitely missing out on tons of exposure because if you simply start posting Instagram reels you would definitely get a lot more eyeballs on you now I just want to say if you're already on other platforms and you're repurposing your content from the other platforms onto Instagram you need to make sure they do not have a watermark if you're posting your TikTok videos from TikTok to Instagram and it has the TikTok watermark Instagram will 100% not push it out to this highest potential because they want you posting original content on their platform so if you're basically promoting other platforms you're kind of pulling audience from their platform to another platform because you're giving the other platform more engagement. Now that one was mouthful. But worry not because there's a way to take that watermark off. If you want to post your TikTok videos without the watermark, you just simply need to copy the link of the video and go online and search up SnapTik. Now once you find SnapTik, you can put that link on SnapTik and they will download the video without the watermark for you. Now once you have the non-watermark content, there's still one more thing you need to do. So usually when you save a video like that, the audio is kind of out of sync. But there's an easy way to fix that. You just need to download a free editing app like CapCut and simply drop that video into CapCut and save it. It. Oh, and usually CapCut have their own watermark at the end of the video, so delete that and then save it. So the thing is, once you drop that video to CapCut, it automatically syncs the audio for you. That's why all you have to do is just save it and then you're done. And after that, you can post that video onto whatever social media platform you want to without any complications. And you will not get shadow banned. All right, now we're moving on. This next thing is super easy, but yet super important, which is to simply start using a call to action in your videos. Now, a call to action is simply just telling your audience to follow you in the video. Now, of course, you don't want to just say follow for more. The best converting CTA is the the ones with reason behind it. For example, if my video is about saving money, I could say something like follow for more saving hacks. Now, without a shadow of a doubt, having a good call to action is one of the major reasons why I've gained so many followers so fast. So even if it seems super simple to you, do not doubt it until you try it. Now, call to action is going to kind of lead us to the next topic, which is captions and hashtags. The reason why I say this is because you need to have a call to action in your caption as well. This one is kind of tricky to explain, so I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about right here. So I put follow at my username and the reason why they should follow me. And then I put a small little question with seems innocent on the outside, but it's a secret to why I do this. The questions that I put will incorporate keywords, which I'm going to touch on in a little bit, but then I'll put follow and then add my username, add my username, add my username. Again, it may seem silly, but it works. At this point, they've seen follow me so many times that they eventually going to follow. And then at the very bottom, I put my hashtags. Now, I don't recommend you go crazy with the hashtags. I would say about three to seven hashtags is the best. And for the hashtags, make sure you're using hashtags that a lot of people are using. For example, whenever you use a hashtag, it tells you the exact amount of users that have used that hashtag, or maybe the amount of views or something like that. But whatever that number says, I don't ever recommend a number less than 10,000. I recommend hashtags in the 50k to the mills. If you do use a hashtag with less than 10,000 users, I recommend only using one. Now, hashtags with a lot of users are going to expose you to a lot more people. That's why I recommend the ones in a million ranges. And for the keywords that I was talking about earlier, I'm still not entirely sure if it works on Instagram yet. But it worked for me on TikTok, so I'm just testing on Instagram. But basically how it works is, keywords are just basically part of the SEO. So for example, if you were to use YouTube and search up how to save money, chances are, even if it's Somebody don't have that as their title they can still rank in that search engine just because they have it in the description this is just how the algorithm and search engine works and the same thing goes for TikTok. if somebody's looking up something in the search bar and you have some of those same keywords in your caption your video will rank along what they're searching for the words in your caption is exactly what the algorithm used for people to find your videos but the reason why i say i'm not 100 whether or not if it works on instagram it's because people don't really use instagram as a search engine but at the same time the hashtag 100 works so maybe those two go co-hand together anyway if you want you can't try 
identify that keyword method, that's something I use. You can use it as well. All right, let's move on to the next step. The next thing you need to start doing is posting three to five times per day. The more videos you post, the more exposure you can get. Think of it like this. If you post twice a day, you have twice the growth. So if you start posting three times a day, you have three times the growth and so on and so forth. Okay, let's say right now you're posting five times a week and every week one of those videos get 10,000 views. But if you was to up it and post five times a day, that means you have one 10K video every single day. Now, of course, you're not guaranteed to have a viral video every single day, but I'm telling you, the more you post every single day, the more exposure you can get. And that is 1000% without a doubt because the more content you have out there, the more chance you have of going viral. Literally for 30 days, I posted two to five times per day. On average, I'll say about three times per day. And eventually I slowed down after I hit 200,000 followers though. So I want you to keep at it and don't slow down until you reach 100,000 followers. All right, the next thing you need to start doing is commenting on other people's video. You need to start commenting on similar content like yours. By you simply doing that, it does two different things. Now, the first thing it does is if you're putting good engagement comments, people will likely click your account to see exactly what you're talking about on your page. Now, of course, it's not gonna give you hundreds of thousands of followers, but it definitely will give you a couple new followers. Now, the second thing it does is it shows the algorithm the people you wanna be pushed to. If you're creating finance videos and you're commenting on finance accounts, the algorithm will start pushing it towards those followers. And the result, you get more exposure. All right, now the next thing I wanna talk about is using trending sounds. Now, I just wanna quickly say trending sounds are not necessary. They can help you get more views, but it's not necessary. Like I tested two different accounts posting the same content, but one was trending sounds, one without trending sounds. And the one that was able to grow the most was the one without any sounds at all. Now, if you do wanna use sounds in your videos, all you have to do is pick the sound that you want and turn it down all the way to 1%. Now, what this is gonna do is, you're not gonna hear in the video, but it's still gonna give you that exposure from the sound. It's a little hack that I learned. You can use that if you want. But like I said, at the end of the day, you do not need trending sounds at all. All right, now let's move on. The next thing to start doing is to start doing remixes. So if you don't already know, remixes are basically Instagram's version of duets. Like I have gotten hundreds of thousands of views just simply doing this. You just simply go on your niche and find high performing content in that niche. And then on that same video, we have a button that says remix. You click that video and then you're gonna be next to the video just reacting to it basically. And then put in your captions, put in your hashtags and you're done. These are some of the easiest videos you can do and they bring in thousands of views. All right, the final thing you need to do in order to grow your following is to make high valued content. So even if you were to do everything I taught you in this video, if you don't have good content, nothing will work. Now I'm not talking about using fancy expensive cameras to do your videos. I'm talking about the actual video itself, like putting a lot of thought behind your videos. Because honestly, if you're talking about the quality wise, you can just use a phone to record and that's literally what I use to get hundreds of thousands of followers. But the video itself needs to be a good video. Now you can simply find good video ideas by just looking up your niche and seeing exactly what they're doing. Don't try to reinvent the wheel, just find what's working and recreate those videos. Because if somebody else is having success with that video and you recreate it with your own spin, there's absolutely no way you can't get some success from it. All right, now those are the only steps that you need in order to grow your first 100,000 followers on Instagram. Now let me tell you exactly what I did in order to make so much money from it. The first thing is I was getting paid from the Instagram bonus. Now with this, you're simply getting paid for your views. They start you off with a max bonus of 1,200 a month. Now in order to reach that max bonus, you need about 11 million views. Now don't be discouraged because this is easier to reach than you think. In my first month, I was able to get 8 million views. And also Instagram makes it really easy to get your first $100. To make your first $100, it only takes 30K views. So that's about $5 per thousand views. But after that first $100, it slows down significantly. So after that, for every million views that you get, it's about $100. So I think that's like 40 cents per thousand views after that. And also as you're getting a lot of views, people can always tip you as well. So with the combined total of the gifts and the bonus, so with that, Instagram paid me $1,042 my first month. And you get paid that money on the 21st of every month. And you're always paid for the previous month before. So if you made $1,000 this month, they would pay you that next month. All right, and for my second month, I completely maxed it out and got the full 1,200. Now that was for the month of January. So I'll get that for this month right here February and I'm not able to see the amount of money I got in gifts until a couple days before I get my payment So for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna count that for right now But if you guys remember I said I made 4,400 my second month So the rest of that money came from sponsorships I got two sponsorships for the month of January for Instagram Now I can't disclose the exact amount that they pay me each but you guys can do the math And the thing is the more followers I gain the more I can charge for these sponsorships And to get these sponsorships they automatically reach out to you Instagram do have their own marketplace that you can sign up for but I haven't really done that yet But that marketplace place allows other brands to reach out to you directly but what I do is I just put my email in my bio so any brands that's looking to work with me they can email me and of course that's my business email so I respond to that and we negotiate from there but anyway if you're more in-depth video about this let me know in the comments down below and if you're looking for some business ideas to start you check this video out and if you're looking to grow on TikTok just check this video out